When you're in the market for a gaming PC, there's a lot to consider, power, size, components, and what resolution you want to play at. We are back with another video to help you in choosing best gaming PC for you. In today's video, we will be sharing top 4 best pre-built Gammon's PCs. So stay tuned till end of the video and don't miss any of these. But before continuing further, kindly hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you never miss any update from us. Let's continue with our video. Number 4. HP Omen 30L The HP Omen fits in some high-end hardware into a bit of a tight space. It keeps the performance up, but doesn't have many options for improving thermals beyond increasing the noise if they start to become a problem. The HP Omen has a stylish look to it. From the front, it has the cold feeling with a semi-transparent tempered glass panel that shows off the HP Omen logo at the top and a single ring light on the front intake fan near the bottom. Coming around the side of the HP Omen, you get to see the interior lit by internal RGB lighting. There's a decent smattering of ports available on the computer, including two USB-A ports on the front of the case alongside a combo headset jack and a dedicated Mekin port. Unfortunately, there's no USB-C port on the front of the case. HP touts this as its most customizable gaming PC it's ever made, and it offers tool-less access through the removable glass side panel. But taking a look inside, this doesn't look like a PC that's easy to do much customization with. To start, there's not a lot of extra unoccupied space, especially when it comes to custom cooling. There's only one fan slot at the front and top of the case, and the rear exhaust slot only has space for a single small fan. The hard drive cage is also squeezed in at the front of the case. A standardized motherboard and power supply may be the main components allowing some customization. But even that motherboard lacks extra PCI slots for expansion cards beyond the installed graphics card. Number 3. Corsair 1i300 The Corsair 1i300 is a compact gaming PC with high-end parts. It won't take up much room on your desk, though you'll sacrifice some upgradeability for the size. You'll pay a lot of money for it, but you'll get big performance in a small package. If desk space is at a premium, the Corsair 1i300 may win over your heart. The small tower is a black metal obelisk, but its base takes up very little space on a desk compared to your typical mid-tower. The sides feature triangular cutouts to let air in, while air is exhausted out the top through a large fan. In that way, it's similar in design to the Xbox Series X, but Corsair has been doing this before that console was even announced. The very top of the one looks like a large heatsink, made of a series of fins with gaps for air to shoot out. There are two RGB strips on the front of the desktop, each flanking a Corsair 1 logo. You can change the colors and patterns in Corsair's IQ software. Near the bottom of the Corsair 1's front face are four ports, a headphone jack, two USB Type-A ports, and USB Type-C. This is a pretty convenient location for peripherals that you unplug often. Between a liquid-cooled NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti and Intel's latest Core i9, 12900K, the Corsair 1i300 is pushing top-of-the-line parts for gaming. In both personal usage and benchmark testing, it impressed in 4K gaming, matching muscle with larger systems. Intel's Core i9, 12900K boasts 8 performance cores and 8 efficiency cores. That chip, paired with 64GB of DDR5 RAM, makes the Corsair 1 a capable productivity tower, as well as a gaming powerhouse. Corsair is pretty light on its software load. The main application it includes is IQ, which lets you change the RGB lighting effects and monitor hardware, including CPU and CPU temperatures. Number 2. I buy Power Revolt 3 i7BG. With an excellent handle-equipped case and great performance at a reasonable price, Abbot Power's Revolt 3 is a great rate for gamers who want a compact PC they can lug around. If you're sick of gaming rigs that look like bulky glass rectangles overloaded with RGB lights, you'll likely find the Revolt 3 refreshing. The system comes in white or black, stands 16.1 inches high and occupies just 7x9.9 inches of desk space. There are some RGB lights on the system's Aorus GPU and, oddly, the 16GB of RAM that was included in our configuration but it's not very visible, because the case is all steel panels and black mesh. With two USB 3.0 ports and a USB-C port and a headphone slash mic combo jack up front, the Revolt 3 is well equipped to let you conveniently plug a few things in. Of course, given that these ports are at the bottom of the case, the system will need to be on your desk for those ports to actually be convenient. 
With its Intel Core, i7-11700K 700 of CPU and Aorus RTX 3080 graphics, paired with 16GB of T-Force branded RAM, the Revolt 3 packs some of our favorite current components. Even the 1TB Western Digital's SN550 M2 SSD is one of our best SSD picks. Number 1. MSI Aegis RS 11th Gen The MSI Aegis RS 11th is a powerful gaming desktop with the latest parts from Intel and NVIDIA and off-the-shelf components that allow for easy upgrades. How much you like the design of the Aegis RS will rely heavily on how much you like one of MSI's existing PC cases, the MPG Gunner 110R, some mid-tower chassis with both tempered glass and black aluminum. The front is split between the two, making it look like the two-face of computer cases. Considering our review unit had three RGB fans up front, I didn't love that they were half covered up. It's a weird design choice. The left side panel is tempered glass, which lets you see your components, while the right side is opaque and covers up the cable management. There are two dust filters, a magnetic one on top of the case and a second one in front of the intake fans. There are three 120mm intake fans on the front. There's another on the rear, as exhaust. But it also cools the radiator on the MSI Core Liquid 120 liquid cooler for the CPU. There are five ports on the top of the Aegis RS chassis, a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C port, a pair of USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-A ports, and separate 3.5mm headphone and microphone jacks. The right side panel comes off the same way as the glass door, and it's the easiest way to access the HDD and the PSU, which are hidden beneath the shroud. The case's RGB controller is also back here, and there's another 2.5-inch drive slot. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 and Intel Core i7-11700K are potent for gaming. MSI has paired it with 16GB of RAM, a 1TB PCI Gen 4 SSD, and a 2TB HDD. The CPU has 8 cores and 16 threads. Its competitors, though, pose a threat, as many high-end PCs come with Core i9 processors that have more cores. It should be noted that even the Core i9 Rocket Lake has just 8 cores so this isn't a limitation of testing the Core i7. MSI includes a keyboard and mouse in the box, which are good enough to use if you don't have a lot else lying around, but that you may want to replace if you already have favorite peripherals. If you're looking for the latest and greatest, the MSI Aegis RS 11th delivers you the most recent parts from Intel and NVIDIA. We hope that you have enjoyed our video. Kindly give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you never miss any update from us. Thanks for watching the video.